Yeah, it's me, Ed Phillips. Today I invited a longtime friend and key grip, Harry Rez, to demonstrate how to properly rig a vehicle using Matthews car mounts. Matthews mounts are designed for large film or digital cameras. The mounts are heavy as it's the weight that helps stabilize the camera and eliminate road vibration by unitizing the mount to the superstructure of the vehicle. This is demonstrated as we encounter the speed bump in the street and you'll notice the camera is moving in harmony with the vehicle. Look at the subject walking behind the vehicle as we traverse the alley and again, due to a solid camera mount, the car performs almost like a camera dolly. Harry begins by preparing the car with a piece of duvetine to protect the paint. He then looks for the strong points to begin rigging his mount. This is, a, this is a good spot to start, and then one up here. We're going to put the front mount on and adjust it once we get it on to the, the proper height. We find a, steady, a strong spot. Keep going forward. Uh, keep going a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to put the strap just to keep the, the camera from sliding forward, I mean the mount, just to put a little pressure on it. There. While the kit includes a lot of the necessary mounting accessories, it does not include the inch and a quarter Schedule 40 aluminum pipe. Now what we're going to do now is adjust the height. See, now we're, we're low, so Rick and I are going to crank this up a little higher. So here, here's the problem. We have a, an angle where we put this hook on and it'll slide off. So now we have to improvise. So we're going to use a couple of sleek clamps with pins. You can use many other things. Okay, here you go. On. That's just... Matthew's mounts will work with sports cars, trucks, and SUVs. Each requires engineering to properly attach to the secure points of the vehicle. Caution should be taken to allow adequate ground clearance when mounting beneath okay. the vehicle. We're going to put the front clamp uh, front mount on. How's that? That's good there. Okay, we got, we're on a good solid piece of the, the frame. Let's go to the high end. Okay. Okay. Now we'll slide the camera mount into position. Okay. Say we're going to do a, oh, we'll do a single, like we're doing a single on the, the driver. So now we're basically in good shape. We'll just, I think we'll take the duvetine out of the way now. Watch your side doesn't light up. Okay, you got to go now. Do, uh, here, let's do this. Okay, we tightened up the, the straps. Get that duvetine? Okay. And just to protect the car, just, you have to do this in most amounts. This will take a, a, a very heavy camera. And then the camera will come in when we put the camera on. See, we haven't even really tightened it up and it's really super strong already. Nice, huh? Now we're ready for the camera. Nice and strong here. Very sturdy. Now we're going to put some of these clamps on. This will be for the triangulating of the, uh, the, ca the camera. And we'll, we have a foundation. That's what you need. You can come off. As long as you have a foundation, you can go almost anywhere. You know, we. As you'll see later on, we have a drop down. We're filming the tire and the wheel and the back of the car as we're running. So we have a foundation which we can jump off with your 90 degree angle. So you'll be able to see some shots later on of how we, how we work this out. <coughs> At this plate, we're going to put on the side for our low shot. It's not included in the package, but uh, we're going to use it to show you how, how it's done. Like I say, we've got a foundation, and we just go from there. Hey, assistant, he didn't uh, loose. <laughs> All right, now we have to stabilize this, so we're going to do a little triangulation on it. So we're going to use these little super grips right here and put it on the side of the car. Then we take another one of these clamps. like an erector set. 
kind of fun if you like to do erector sets. And we need to put one more super grip. Okay, we'll tighten this up. All right, now we may just. No, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, what we're trying to do is have all this move together with the car. And what we're now is that we've taken out a lot of the problems. And we'll be able to put a camera here. And if you want, you can get longer pipes, or we can run these down to even get lower right off the ground. We're going to be putting the side mount on. We're just going to protect part of the car. Okay. Now we're putting the feet up here against the door, sliding the little rams up. Not looking bad level-wise, so we have to adjust the little feet. And so when the camera is pulled down, the weight of the camera pulling down will put stress on this. And so you have to have a nice strong spot here, which I found. And see, strong as a car. Rick is bringing over the four-way leveling head, the low one, for the side mount. So you got you you can move this thing in any direction you want. You know, I take this thing and move it around to where the cameraman likes to, to use it. And then once he said okay, then you just lock it in place. But anyway, and then once you get the camera on, which you'll see later, we did some traveling shots with the camera on. You take the level ahead, you can do whatever you want. A nice little rig. It's very strong, but it's no stronger than the weakest point would be on the chassis of the car. So it would be up to the key grip <coughs> to make sure he gets in, in the right spots. But we found a good spot here, so it'll be pretty good. The trick is to have a strong foundation. And once you can go, you can go almost anywhere you want on a strong foundation. And it's uh, done a lot. All you need is one little place that's stronger than most, and then you can just you play off of that. You can take your, your speed rail, your fitting. Magic provides all that. And if you really want to get elaborate, there are other things to, 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 to get into. I mean, like I say, we can get this thing just right off the ground if we had to. Forward, backward, we can go up higher. It's got a lot of versatility. And like I say, it's strong. And uh, like every, every car is a different challenge, so that's.